Hi guys, today I'm bringing you a CSGO video on Operation Vanguard. This is the first operation I've been in, but before we get into that, I just want to tackle my ping predicament in the first part of this video. Back in my first CSGO video, which I uploaded 3 weeks ago, I was still playing in Australia, so I had around 20 to 30 ping. It's basically like playing in LAN games where there's absolutely no delay. Now that I'm back in the Philippines, I'm forced to connect to the Southeast Asia server, which I think Singapore is hosting. So, as a result, my ping ranges from around 80 to 110. At the very least, there's a 0.5 second delay in my shots. Sometimes during lag spikes, that delay could go up to 2 seconds. If I was out in the open, I would have already died because it took too long for the shot to register. Now the worst of these is when the shot doesn't register at all. As you can see, this was supposed to be a clean kill, but nothing happened. Another lag occurrence results in enemies teleporting, making it harder for me to track them down. But of all the lag experiences I've had, this one is by far the weirdest. Bodies just popped out of thin air. I thought the corpses of the enemies I've slain were coming back to haunt me. Anyways, the reason why I'm pointing all this out is because I'm planning to retire from CSGO afterwards. Right now, I'm always gonna be stuck at Master Guardian because for my skill level, I really need a decent ping to even stand a chance against higher ranks who have a much faster reaction time than the people I'm competing against right now. So this is my last CSGO video since not a lot of people watch my vids anyways. Now that this is out of the way, I'm finally going to talk about Operation Vanguard. So basically, you complete missions in order to rank up your badge level. Six new maps have been added and I'll give a short description on each one of them. I'll start with the bizarre map. The environment is basically like dust, it's a desert type map. The layout is very balanced for both sides and it's a good map to flank targets. Next up, we have Back Alley. It's the first map I've played in with a night setting. This is a more tactical oriented map. You gotta know your role and assess your weapon choice depending on where you're positioned at. The third map on the list is Facade. It's got a daylight urban setting and it's a very good sniping map. Uh, I actually got a lucky op double headshot collateral wall bang in this map, which is nice. So the bomb sites are located within the compounds and they're very far from one another so you really have to get both sides guarded. If you don't and you get to the wrong side, you'll never be able to defuse it in time. Next map is Season. It's a modern looking compound with a snow mountain in the distance. In the middle of the map, the distance gap gives you a good sniping position. Each bomb site also gives you a good defensive vantage point, so you just really need to assess the situation and you've got no problem winning the round. Second to the last map on my list is located in the Riverview Sports Center. The map is officially named as Workout and this is definitely my favorite because it has weights just outside the map. I uh, actually had to stop for a second or two wishing I could just blast through the glass window then just do some bench press and forget about the mission. <laughs> Anyways, now it's time for the last map which is Marquis. It's uh, actually located in Paris. It's a bit more complex than the others. There's lots of elevations which you can use to your advantage. Visually, I think it has the best graphic design in all of the Vanguard maps. So that's it. Special thanks to Chris for lending me some of his weapons which I used in this video. So I gave my own perspective of what I thought about the new maps. I'll leave the exploring to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.